Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to your CrossFit Cure at Home workout for July 17th. Our warm up today is three rounds of 45 seconds of each of the following movements high knees. So you can start a little slow on your first round, but bringing your knees up as high as you can, keeping your feet below. Uh, your hips, trying not to lean back on this, but stay nice and upright or slightly leaned forward. Uh, next movement is up downs or bodybuilders, hands on the ground, hop your feet out, hop them back in and stand up, little hop at the top. 45 seconds of air squats. So um, because we're going for time, you can start out nice and slow, really working on getting that full range of motion warmed up, especially if you have tight knees. And then 45 seconds of jumping jacks. So we'll go three rounds of that, and then we will get into our workout. Our workout is a fun one, partner wad today. It is called Basset Hound. So this is gonna be a partner workout. It is in the style of you go, I go for each movement. This will be a 16 minute AMRAP, as many rounds and reps as possible with your partner. If you do not have a partner today, what you are going to do is equal work to rest um, so really pay attention to that clock. Um, it's going to be short bursts of work followed by short bursts of rest. Okay. So let's talk about the movements. First partner will do eight deadlifts with a dumbbell or kettlebell. Um, if you've got two, you'll do them outside with your feet right below your hips. If you've got a single one, you'll step out a little wider and do that right below your hips. Push the butt back, hinge down, keep the back straight. We're trying to get this to mid shin. If you've got a kettlebell, it's a lot easier to get it to the appropriate height. If you're using a dumbbell, go ahead and stop right at mid shin. Come up eight reps. Then after you complete those, your partner will complete eight reps while you rest. Then partner A will go to hang power clean. So again, with one or two um, dumbbells. If you've got two, keep them out to your sides. If you've got one, just alternate on uh, every rep. Little dip, extension, squeeze the glute, shrug the shoulder, pull those weights up and land on your shoulders. Make sure if you catch it in a partial squat that you stand all the way up. So eight hang power cleans each partner and then eight push press each partner. Again, if you've only got one, just alternate every rep, little squat, extend, punch, catch, and bring it back down. Push press there. So remember, we are not doing a dip to catch on these. It is extension, punch, that's the top of it. Those are the three movements. You are going to go, you go, I go style, or again, if you're by yourself, you will go work to rest uh, equal time. So say the deadlifts take you 20 seconds, you'll work 20 seconds, rest 20 seconds, and go. Uh, once you get through the push presses, that is one round complete. One additional wrinkle we are throwing in here is that every three minutes, you are going to do a shuttle run. And again, this will be you go, I go style. So um, partner A will do their shuttle run, come back, partner B will do their shuttle run. Um, if we are at the park, um, we'll just have a distance marked out. We want this to be something that takes about 30 to 45 seconds. So a little bit longer distance down and back, okay? Um, so again, that's is every three minutes. So at the three minute, the six, the nine, the 12, and the 15, which is kind of fun because when you come back, you'll have just a few seconds to try and keep going right to the end of the workout. Recording total rounds and reps here. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys have fun with that one. Our accessory work today is three sets of 40 seconds plank hold. So do the most challenging scale you can here, whether that's down off your elbows, up on your hands, or a plank off your knees, or even elevating your feet in a plank, okay? Then 60 seconds of glute bridge, maybe go for like a one to two second hold at the top of this, laying on your back, pushing your hips up, squeezing your glutes and hamstrings, and then 80 flutter kicks. Hardest scale on this would be to do this in a hollow hold um, with no support from your arms. So keeping your arms off the ground a little bit easier, bring our arms to the ground. Even easier is we can bring our shoulders to the ground, keep our legs up, okay? 80 flutter kicks. Um, every time a foot kicks, that's one flutter kick, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, like that, okay? Just keep it simple. Stretching today is on a five minute clock or three rounds, depending on how quick you go. Uh, it's up to you. 25 shoulder taps. This is something we want to do in a plank position. We can uh, make this easier by going into a pike position or going down onto our knees. Um, just hand comes up, taps the opposite shoulder. 50 foot bear crawl. Okay, 
if you're not doing a bear crawl, what you're gonna do here, I know it doesn't sound fun, we're gonna do uh, 20 additional shoulder taps or just hand raises. So rather than going to the opposite hand, just lift your hands up and then 20 knee tucks. So bringing your knee up kind of like a slow um, mountain climber. If you want to do 20 with your knee tucks at the same time where both feet hop in and hop out, that's okay. Then we're going to go five partial handstand kick ups. So getting our hands on the ground and just working on kicking our feet up, getting them off the ground. If you can get up really tall, um, that's great. Um, Otherwise, we're just trying to work on practicing that movement of getting both our feet off the ground at the same time, kind of like a buck and bronco. Then we're going to go 10 second handstand hold, so kick up to a wall, or if you can do a freestanding handstand hold, you're welcome to do that, or we'll just do a piked handstand hold. And then we will do one wall walk. If we don't have a wall to do wall walks off of, um, we're going to do a piked around the world walk each way. So. Um, in a pike position, you're going to do a full rotation around your feet, walking your hands, and then you will go the other way. So go clockwise and then counterclockwise. All right, that is our accessory work, or that's our stretching work um, today. That is it for Friday. We got one more day this week, so uh, we'll see you guys Saturday.